on October 28, 1928, in Batavia, the capital of the Dutch East Indies, now known as Jakarta. A significant and remarkable event in Indonesian history took place. That event was the birth of the National Youth Pledge in Indonesia. It all started after Indonesia experienced being under colonization, in which their freedom was deprived from them. For over the years, under the Dutch colonists, nationalist leaders and organizations could not take actions against them because they would be arrested. The Dutch colonizer had enough power to simply suppress Indonesian nationalism. So at that time, the suppression of their freedom became a way for them to realize that they had to fight for their freedom. And that sparked their spirit to fight for Indonesia's independence. This video is sponsored by Huion, the global leader in creative tablets manufacturing. So what the nationalist leaders and organization did was they secretly took actions. They decided to launch a meeting with all the nationalist leaders and organizations without the Dutch colonizer, knowing that the purpose of the meeting was to be the way for Indonesia to unite to achieve Indonesia's independence. Youth Union all across Indonesia, PPPI, or Indonesian Youth Congress II, a youth organization whose members were Indonesian students all over Indonesia and the participants was other organizations and nationalists from the Indonesian Students Association. So the meeting of Congress was decided to be held for two days on October 27 to 28, 1928. However, before the meeting of Congress was held, a journalist named Wagi Rudolf Sopratman read an article in the solo issue Timbol Magazine, seeking an Indonesian composer who can compose for the national anthem. Upon reading the news, he was then inspired to send his composition entitled Indonesia Raya. And then after when he received the news about the Congress being held, which served a push towards independence for their nation, and because of this, as a journalist, he then contacted the organizer for the Congress to publish this news. But the organizers requested not to publish in order to not create suspicion from the Dutch authorities. Otherwise, the Dutch would ban the meeting. So Supratman promised that he would not publish it and the organizers let him have free access to the event. And then Supratman was inspired to play his composition in the event. Fortunately, when he suggested the song to the chairman of the event, Sugundo Joyo Pospito, upon reading his composition, encouraged him to play it at the second meeting congress. So since the committee agreed, he then spread the lyrics a week to the participants. However, when Muhammad Yamin, a secretary of Jong Bon, saw the lyrics, he then worried that it could cause noise and caused the Dutch to be banned for their Congress. But in the lyrics, the word independent was temporarily changed to the word novel so that the meaning would not be banned by the Dutch. Then he allowed the Supratman to play it only during the meeting break with a violin. And on October 27, 1928, the first meeting of Congress was held in the House of Katoliki Jongilingen Bond, or KJB, Waterlooplin now Lapangan Banting. During the Congress, the PPPI chairman, Sugundo Joyo Pospito, aimed that the Congress would strengthen the spirit of unity in the hearts of the youth. Then after, Muhammad Yamin also gave his description to the participants about the meaning and the relationship of the unity with the youth, in which he said that there were five factors that can strengthen Indonesia's unity, and these were the history language, 
customary law, education, and will. And that day, Dr. Johannes Limina asked the audience who participated to become one and part of the Indonesian nation. After that day, on October 28, 1928, the second meeting of Congress was held at the Ust Java Bioscope building discussing the issue of education. And at the last meeting that took place at Gedung Indonesischi Club Gibau at Jalan Kramata Raya 106, Sunari proclaimed that the importance of the nationalism and democracy. At that time, during the meeting break, the song Indonesia Raya was first played. And when Supratman played the song with his violin, the audience was mesmerized and serene. So the audience requested to play again the song with the lyrics. Shortly after, they appointed the daughter of Haji Agu Salim, Dolly Salim, to sing the song again. That time, the song brought hope and life to Indonesian people. The song made them realize what really their hearts desired, and that was to achieve peace and freedom. On that historic day, Participants recited the three pledges that were later referred to as the Youth Pledge, or it was written by Comedy Secretary Muhammad Yamin. The three main contents of the Youth Pledge statement was, We, the sons and daughters of Indonesia, acknowledge one motherland, Indonesia. We, the sons and daughters of Indonesia, acknowledge one nation, the nation of Indonesia. We, the sons and daughters of Indonesia, respect the language of unity, Indonesia, Bahasa. On that day, it became a memorable event in the life of the Indonesians. That became an inspiration for the other Indonesian youth to value themselves and to fight for their freedom. In that historic event in Indonesia, the youth pledge became a symbol for young Indonesians that they could be a means for social change that they can be one of the heroes who will also bring a huge impact not only for their country but also for other young Indonesians. They can also be an inspiration for others to do the same things that every individual can be proud of. And so the youth pledge made every Indonesian youth to be united as one. Currently, the youth pledge day is celebrated annually by the country of Indonesia where it has become a national non-holiday, and the place where the last meeting was held is now the Youth Pledge Museum. This is History Animated.